You got your fucking your new host here, man. <laughs> oh my god. Let's talk Going about this crazy, custer. man. So all right. squeak on it. Let me, let me squeak on, on this for you guys. So um, you know, Faco recently did an episode where he talked a bunch of sh- he talked to Batman Kevo's manager on the phone and they got into a bunch of dirt about 16 shot him 16 shot him hits me up right away says they lying on my name like he, he wasn't like totally pissed about me having somebody on the platform talking so reckless about it but he definitely wanted to say his piece so i said okay can i get you on a podcast with flacco he said you know i, I feel like he was a little bit cautious about it because this is the exact dude who had just been shitting on him but he says oh, okay so you I'll set do this it. up now hmm. my schedule i'm only in, only in town for a couple of days so I had to be like, all right, are you down to do it with somebody else? I saw, I was thinking about asking T-Rail. T-Rail's in Texas. I'm like, maybe I'll hit AD up. Let's see if AD, and it, it's not that I was looking for uh, somebody to be like security in the room, <laughs> which I had heard discussed that like AD was there as security. That's not, I, I, <laughs> it never even crossed my mind that anything violent could happen in this situation. Mm-hmm. I just thought, oh really? If AD is there, <laughs> if AD yeah, is the there, proof. then maybe he'll be able to at least moderate the conversation he and ho- hopefully keep them from just getting too far left out of pocket in the argument. He was doing a good job at it for the whole hour. I he say. was doing a lot because yeah. there was a lot of reining in to do on Flacco because he was so fucking out of control. I don't feel like I feel like as a podcast host. If you are going to sit down with someone and do an interview with them, it's kind of like expected. It's it's kind of your duty to show them a certain amount of respect. I think coming out the gate with the name calling and the just super aggressive shit was just... He didn't just, even introduce him yet. He didn't have like a <laughs> seed of like, oh, cool, we're on the... I've never seen somebody... Honestly, I've watched so many contentious podcasts where people have blatantly been talking shit about each other and then they get into the same room together and all of a sudden... It's a lot less aggressive. It's mm-hmm. like they go into it with good faith to try to get to the bottom of the issue. Exactly. It did not really feel like a good faith endeavor on <laughs> Flacco's part. He's calling him a clout chaser and a fraud <laughs> over and over and over. Um, I, I think Flacco across the line, he said, suck my dick. Like, you can't say that kind of shit to a street dude like 16 and expect him to not do something. Now, normally in any given situation, if we had somebody on the podcast and they spit in the host's face... It would be like, we're never going to fuck with you again. I don't like you. You're a piece of shit. Whatever. I don't feel that way at all about 16. I think Flacco was kind of asking for it in that situation. If anything, I feel like, you know, him him spitting in his face was probably kind of nice compared to, like, just clocking him in the jaw, which is what I feel like a lot of other people would do. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it was um, uh, it was it was intense. I think Flacco, if he was, I mean, if he's going to do another episode like that, I mean, it just, it can't be that negative out the gate. It can't be. And it felt like it just wasn't even really making a lot of sense. No. Yeah. Like, a lot of the stuff he was saying where he was just really railing against 16 for for interviewing this dude who ended up calling Bam and Kevo a snitch, right? This guy's, like, on his case. To me, that's enough of a reason for you to be able to have a, a fair perspective on him, right? Flacco just keeps saying this guy's got 10,000 followers. Yeah, yeah. It just keeps calling him a nobody over and over. I'm like, what is the point of pointing that out over and over? That doesn't yeah. invalidate yeah. his entire perspective. Now, if it was just a guy who didn't even fucking know Bam Man Kevo and 16 gave him an interview to talk shit about him, that I could see being a problem. That doesn't make a lot of sense. If you're going to put somebody on a platform to talk shit about somebody else like that, they, they need to be coming from some position of authority, right? Okay. They need to have been around them or had something to do with them. It sounds like he fit that criteria, and, and Flacco just wasn't trying to hear it at all. And F- Flacco was kind of <clears throat> acting like it was anything different than what we do here. Yeah, right? Like, that's exactly what we all do. Or what he <laughs> does. He fucking does these stories talking about people bro, that nobody ever even no, fucking heard of. This shit was, bro, this shit was so crazy. And, you know, like, since day one, since he got here, all I've ever tried to do was like, hey, bro, mm-hmm. like, I ain't yeah. trying to tell you what to do, but you know what I'm saying? I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. You've been doing a good job at that, AD, bro, honestly. But you... I've been telling them, but, you know, I've been fans been hitting me up. You trying to control Flacco? He's not afraid to talk of this, this, this. And I'm like, yeah, all right, y'all, niggas. Y'all, 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 really, <laughs> y'all really don't understand, like, what can really happen in certain situations. And then yesterday, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I seen a totally different person than I know. Like, if Flacco came on here and he was just wanting to speak his opinion, you know what I'm saying? 
then it's cool. I'm not gonna be mad. I ain't gonna let nobody like beat you up because you sitting there just giving your opinion. But my nigga, you was you was that nigga turned to a whole nother individual. If, if we just wanted content and we were perfectly happy to see him just crash out, then we would be encouraging stuff like what he did yesterday. Yeah. I think yesterday we're lucky that we have such a good relationship with 16 shot him that he's not going to hold it against the brand but a lot of people would not be so kind <laughs> yeah. that tone that he took with him if he would have, have had a similar situation with like you know a friend or a, a person who had beef like i could think of all kinds of people in la yeah. that if you had had that kind of conversation with them they would have beat your ass like they wouldn't have waited an hour either like i yeah. think 16 showed very good exactly. restraint exactly. oh man spit, he was i, cool I was impressed by him honestly spit is the worst and bro Ooh. his homies got up bro like and honestly, they were supposed to beat the dog shit out of Flacco. They supposed to fire on me too <laughs> for jumping, <laughs> jumping in the way in the way with him. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And the and the whole thing is is that after the shit happened, we go on a Monday show. Everybody's acting like we hating. They like hey, niggas hitting me up. Ad, you hating on Flacco? You afraid Bro, they he's love, gonna they he's love gonna get more popular than negative. you? You this and this and this and that. And then they see the interview now. Everybody's like, oh, you guys was mm. you woo? I'm like, man, you know what? I jumped in front of that man. You feel me? Yeah. I didn't have to do that you shit. You did do that. You, you know put him saying? behind you. Bro, I literally put him behind me. And yeah. bro, that nigga, that nigga 16 apologized. He was like, man, I didn't mean to do this shit. He was on his way out. Flock was like, watch, nigga. Watch, just yeah. watch. He comes back like, what do you like? What you mean, watch? Like, what did you what did you want? So now, since that happened, Everybody saying, oh, yeah, I want Flacco to talk. I want him to do whatever. AD is washing his hands. Do not ask me to moderate with that nigga no more. <laughs> you feel me? Something, you that's you fair. You taking a stance. I'm, I'm out. If you if he want to say something, I'm not going to warn that nigga no more. I'm not going to put a muzzle on him. Yeah. Nigga, if he, whatever he do is on him. If somebody running this motherfucker and crack his helmet, his helmet, <laughs> I'm going to sit there and watch. Be like, I didn't, I, I tried I'm to. Not, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not. Like I'm it not, is a twisty. I'm not. <laughs> like, uh, uh, but I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing it no more, bro. Because right. even if, like, let's say, bro, like, if I didn't help him in the situation, niggas would be like, AD, you wrong for letting You're damned if you, you do, you damned if you don't. That, you, that's what I'm saying. So, so the, now. The crazy I, thing I about it hands. is that normally when you get a person on the channel, they're a little reserved. They haven't been on camera that much, et cetera. So it's like you kind of have to encourage them to get out of their shell. Like mm -hmm. with certain people, you're kind of pushing them, like have more of an opinion, have more of a take. Yeah. With him, it's a total opposite. And I've never really had this problem before where his takes are already so extreme that you find yourself having to kind of reel him back in. And like, for instance, uh, I don't want to say who, but you guys were talking on the Monday show about a certain uh, magazine cover and a certain editor from the magazine. And he tells me right <laughs> away about what he's planning on saying about her as a white woman in the hip hop industry and I I told him and luckily he took my advice and I didn't hear him really saying any of this shit on the Monday show but no, I was like didn't. don't make it personal with people in the fucking media world unless you have something really fucking good to go on because yeah. if you're a woman who works at a media company in hip hop realistically as, as a magazine person or whatever and someone who's not asking for fucking thanks I mean, you you don't see her contribution of working on, on this legendary hip-hop magazine. And yes, they might not be in the dominant position that they always were, but I was like, bro, do not fucking make it a personal attack with her. It's not yeah. there's not a reason for you to do this. Like, you have to pick your battles wisely. And the shit that he was popping with 16 was just way bro, didn't over he tell, the top. Bro, didn't dude. he tell that nigga... I can press charges on you. I'm like, what? Yeah, you when can't. They, how are you gonna mix that with also saying like I'm gonna beat your ass? I beat your ass, dude. And honestly, I uh, beat your ass. Then press charges, nigga. What's yeah, up? That's you, messy. You know what I have to say about what AD had just said? Like, I feel like a lot of people, including me, originally I only saw the end of it, right? Mm. And you can come to your own conclusions, whatever it is that watching the end of it. Today I watched the full interview because yeah, it dropped today. I watched the full. Thing and dude, too. if you watch the full interview, you can tell that 16 shot him. Got to this point where he's like, he didn't say it, but he was like in his brain, he was like, agree to disagree. I'm just not gonna say anything anymore. Flacco kept, like you're saying, kept mm. going with that narrative of like he cloud chaser, chaser, cloud chaser, cloud chaser. What, I, what I seen like, in his phone, what I seen it, you know? in his yeah. phone was not like nothing that I that I didn't even want to throw Flacco under the bus. You feel me? So when I was looking at the shit, I'm like, all right, like you ain't making a good case right now. But look, you know what I mean, I'm gonna Fl try to move the situation somewhere else. Yeah. But look, Flacco's whole point was saying that when he was texting, who he was texting, that he said 16 spot him instead of 16 shot him. And that's why the person was like, who? No, he said that. That's not what he said? No, the context of it was 
the streets and people been telling him about 16, right? Yeah. And then okay. he said that he hit it. The nigga, the nigga didn't hit him up. Flacco hit the nigga up and was giving him information on 16 out of mm-hmm. nowhere. And I, I'm, I'm reading the shit. That's why I asked. I was like, bro, you calling me a liar? I'm reading him telling shit about 16 that yeah. he knew nothing about. And, and, and the niggas responded back like, who is this? Oh, I see. I follow him. And, and, and you know, he, he keeps, keeps saying pedophile to 16. And then 16, like, explains his situation, which I think he had already explained on the interview and stuff. And it's like, I mean, why even start out with the fucking accusation? Like, that is so extreme to be going there with it. that And, and it, that doesn't have anything to fucking do with the situation that we're talking about in this situation either, right? Like, I don't know. I definitely wasn't soaked on Flacco's... Uh, like, then, like, he made some very viral content. Okay, oh yeah, good. Sure. That's Hands good. Down. Super viral. Hats off to you for that. It just... It could have been viral without having to be that aggressive. And